Audio Audio Swiveller TV where I'm at HMV on Oxford Street in London to interview the Fox Rebellion. Let's start with the band first. We've got American and Australian and two Brits. How did that happen? It's an American Brit, Australian Brit. Okay, this order. It's kind of it's kind of like uh, that movie Twins, you know, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. We were all conceived at the same time, and mm. we're all brothers. But yeah, we, just different mothers. Yeah, we got separated at birth. Right. Yeah. Nate, and Nate actually came over from the States to study, and Todd came over to work separately. And uh, we all, we all ended, up, ended up in London, and, and um, I think you were... Oh, and Nate replied to an advert that Todd had put up at the 12 Bar Club, which is a cool little club down Denmark Street. Uh, and then they started off writing songs acoustically, and then they wanted a band, and they found me and Pierce. And that was back in 2000. Now, it now it we're bringing out our sex now. Yeah. yeah. And it's the CD version, because you brought it out digitally, digitally didn't yeah, it? we brought it out in January, um, uh, so, and it did well. Yeah, we couldn't afford to put it out uh, physically um, in January. And the iTunes thing then happened, and we've just been taking our time because uh, we want to make sure we did it right the yeah. second time around. So, when the HMP thing came up, and we just jumped at it pretty much. So, what can people expect from the tour to follow? Because you've got the tour straight after the HMV appearances, don't you? Yeah, uh, they, the, the tour shows are going to be a lot bigger. They're going to they're going to have far more songs in them, and they're obviously going to also be in proper venues. So it will be dark, and there'll be a big. <laughs> A big light show, mm. you know. Um, and you like what they, the, it, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be more dirtier, rockier stuff. Yeah, uh, mainly because the place will smell like piss. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that because yeah, of the sweat? Be stinky, Is that yeah. And, yeah. Not that H and V doesn't stink. <laughs> 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 it's just it's, 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 it's in a nicer. Room. I don't know. It smells like a bank. Absolutely. I feel like I'm in a bank right now. No, yeah, no. I think this room is very banky, isn't it? Yeah. We can <laughs> but it's good, it's good banky. It's it's like banky. One way. I like this is good. <laughs> <laughs> quite like the smell of this room. What do you think about this song? I read that you're supposed to support the killers. I mean, what happened? What uh, happened? Can you tell us a bit about... My, my appendix ruptured, and I was in a hospital for a while. So that kind of made me feel like I had to put things to a halt. So that was one of many, many stop starts. Yes, the yeah. first time round. We've had, we've never been able to keep up any kind of momentum because of yeah. stuff outside of our control. And when that, when Nathan went into hospital, his appendix ruptured, but the peritonitis stuff that comes with that, and then yeah. they had to spend pretty much six weeks in table. Well. So Funny Adam, that Adam visited me every day, pretty much. Todd, kind of every other day, and. Uh, uh, I live down the sticks. So, can you compare your feeling to when um, your label sort of went went down to now when you're releasing your album? Because it's such a great achievement. You've worked so hard. Okay. Blessed relief. Yeah, the we first were. time around, and now it's just then it was jubilation. Yeah, it, when it first out, we were we were really happy just because we weren't happy with the with how it was going. We mm. we, it was really crap. So when they got out of that, it was it felt kind of like a freedom kind mm. of thing. It's like when your kids leave home and you can live your life again. Mm. I think... Um, yeah. but, um, <laughs> that's really with, the, with the opportunity <laughs> to buy, completely bypass all of that and, and work straight with HMV, I think I said yes before our manager even finished the sentence. Mm -hmm. I, think what, I think what you've got... Um, when you boil it down, it's just people that really are into music for the right reasons, whether that be um, iTunes or HMV. I mean, everyone that we've met from HMV um, has been absolutely amazing. And, you know, they're in it because they love the music. And that's, they're the people that we want to work with. Mm. And, uh, you know, there's not really that many people at record labels like that. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're much the better for it, really. Do you think big brands like HMV and iTunes um, is, uh, could, I mean, replace, not replace record labels, but you know, uh, they're they coming through as, as helping unsigned music and, and great bands? They can make a dent, a big dent. And they can, they can also provide uh, another option. Yeah. The timing has worked out perfectly for us this time, even though it's been awful for us in the past. The timing this year with kind of digital 
uh, networking sites and stuff like that has meant that we could, we've totally been able to use it and that's helped us arrange a kind of partnership with iTunes and then HMV where we can do a lot of the promotion on, online ourselves and everything's just about in the right place for that to happen. So I, I, think I hope there's more of it. Yeah. yeah because, I mean, bands being pretty much in direct contact with their fans is almost essential these days. What we found the first time around when people had actually were given the option to listen to the music, they liked it, you know, which is why we're here in the, you know, the first place. I think you mentioned your fans, um, it's quite an intimate gig as well. We're pretty used to the intimate. Yeah. So <laughs> not through choice. It, it's, it's, it's something that has really helped us. Um, and uh, it's, I think it says something about our music that, that the fans that we initially um, accumulated around the first album actually stuck with it. And they've actually helped, helped motivate us into making this second album, mm. they were always hungry to hear new stuff on MySpace whilst we were making it, and they were hungry to come to gigs. And even though we were doing smaller shows, they always turned up, and we always mm. packed out places in London. And and whilst you, when you've been dropped and you haven't got any support, any financial support, or anyone helping you promote it, they, that's the sort of thing that just keeps you going throughout. So our fans probably should be credited for our survival. Born, 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 born. 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 I'm gonna go born. No. Um, now the thing, it's more over like there's more. This is a one stuff. word, one word answer. Oh yeah. Okay, so it doesn't so. have to be. I mean, if you've got, if you've got an opinion on it. That's to me. That's like saying Beatles or Kings of Leon. Well, right, to me, it's like not. So I'm gonna go born. Okay. <laughs> Oh, um, is that a question? No. <laughs> <laughs> My question. Um, a barber or brown? What? A barber or brown? A barber. A barber, yeah. I think Obama. even even us British would say. Yeah, well. Hey, so just <laughs> <laughs> essentially, they're both the same side of the middle, so. Yeah, but browns are. Isn't Obama brown really? <laughs> or brown, Obama. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, night in with with a girl or a night out with a band? Oh, at the moment. Can we do a bit of both? I'm oh, so tired of these. Night out. <laughs> a night so out with a girl band. Right <laughs> we're, we're forcibly made to hang out with each yeah. other as it is. So night in with a girl is actually <laughs> really girl, nice. Yeah. And I'll have half a night out with a band and then come home lashed up and then see them an hour. <laughs> You do that. Best of both worlds. No, that's what I do, really. So oh, that's right. kind of why I say that. <clears throat> uh, okay, we've got best of both or white bread? Best of both. White. If you're going to do if you're gonna do bread, make it one or the other. I'm like that with everything, actually. Yeah. Don't you? No, no half down the middle, just white. white. Wait, you go whole milk or skim milk? Uh, it's the best of both, right. which is that weird. Yeah, no, but if milk happened, would you go for like <laughs> semi skim? Different. So you have to go skim <laughs> or whole milk? I don't understand any form of milk other than full cream milk. Next question. Whole milk or semi skim milk? Let's yeah. just do that then. No, no I go skimmed. Oh. Whole milk. Whole milk. Whole milk. Whole milk. I need for that. Tastes better with chocolate, uh, like chocolate. Good on frosties, but everything else just kind of semi skimmed. Uh, okay, okay. Last one. Cabbage or carrots? Carrots. 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 <sighs> Can they be steamed? If you like them to be, yeah. Yeah. Ah, carrots, yeah. Eat. Carrots. 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 Carrots.